Well, this is a short video to explain um, how to use the very basic part of the DSM forward programming tool. So I already have um, a plane uh, relatively set up uh, that is um, a two eyelet on a uh, plane that I can use the, um, the ailerons also as flaps. So I need two independent um, uh, ailerons. So I have the plane set up. Also, I have uh, some of my switches like this yellow one is my flight mode. And this one will be my, my panic switch. So I have a um, receiver that is a report post from a, another plane. So let's start by going to the DSM forward programming tool. Some warnings before that to, so that you can test, you have to test everything. And um, let's go to set up the model. So the first thing that we have to do is set up what kind of wind type are we gonna use? Like in my case, I need two independent ailerons. So we say that the, that is a, an airplane. Now we select here that we want uh, dual ailerons and my tail is normal. Otherwise I, I could choose other settings for my tail, but let's leave the the normal tail. Then after that, I have to do the assignment. So my throttle is on um, the first port of the receiver that is channel three. And why is this uh, discrepancy? Is because um, I have um, the standard ailerone elevator throttle rotor. And in uh, Spectrum, they use throttle uh, ailerone elevator rotor. So it's um, the, the first port is really channel three on your transmitter. So that's why the, um, the difference is here. Then I will have my left aileron on channel six and I already have the output label left aileron and my right aileron will be in channel one that I already laid that output as right aileron. So, so far that, that is good. If I want to change, for example, to something else, I could change the, the ports here, but let's do the right aileron like that. So now, rather an elevator. So, so far so good. So now also some information that the gyro will need to know is if the servos are reversed or not. So in this case, I'm displaying what are the values coming for the transmitter from the output page. And here, I can reverse the gyro direction uh, later. So in the beginning, you probably will not know uh, if the co direction is correct or not. So we'll leave it as the default um, to, to start and we can come back to it uh, later. So we get back out of here and we save those, those changes. So those uh, that information about the plane is stored in that file in uh, models DSM data. So the file name comes from the name of your, your plane. So what I suggest is that you set up the name of your plane and don't change it afterwards. Otherwise it will be using a, a different file. So now let's go to forward programming. So now it's talking to the re re receiver. So what is forward programming? Forward programming is the transmitter is actually talking to a menu that is stored at the receiver. So in these receivers, they already come with some settings that you can change from the receiver. And the transmitter is just really just rendering that, that menu. So in many of the BNF, you will have very restricted uh, settings. Like for example, the safe select, you only can change what stick do you want to use. For example, if I use this switch, I have that in my eight, channel eight, or I can do, for example, my panic one that is here, but let's let's switch it to, to this channel five mode. So now if you see, it changed model three, flight mode three, flight mode two, and flight mode one is not selected because some of the safe select is not on. So let's 
turn on safe select on that one. So now we have the option of flight mode, um, flight mode one. But uh, all this, you can go to several of the videos of um, Spectrum of how to set up your specific receiver. So what I want to do is reset this receiver to factory settings. So what I will do is I will save my current settings to backup in case I need to go back to, to that plane. And now I will do a factory reset. So now I'm kind of brand, brand new with this receiver. So I will go to gyro settings. And if you see the only option that I have is first time setup. So I go for that one. And it tells you that make sure that your plane is already configured before you come to forward programming. So now we set the, the model level. We do continue. Now we set the model on these nodes. Set continue. And we detected that the receiver is in that orientation and that's correct. It's like the servo pins are forward and is uh, facing up on, on the plane. So the orientation is correct. If the orientation is not correct, you can still edit it here and you'll see all the different orientations that, that you can have. Then we can apply what is the, the gain channel that, that we want. So in here, let's, I will use a switch right now, but it can but have to be a, a rotary switch, probably better. Then we'll apply those changes. So right now the receiver is resetting, taking those changes, coming back. So now let's see what other options do I have. So I have a lot more options. Let's go to safe select. Let's configure the channel. And let's choose this mode. So now if you see, it's changing the flight modes without switch. So some instructions. So we level the plane. So right now, for example, if I do this capture, will move the plane a little bit nose forward. So you see that is changing the attitude. So let's put it level again. So that's kind of the level uh, attitude. So my flight mode one, all this, you have to do it in, um, check some of the videos that is specific for, for Spectrum, for, for the receivers. But in here, you can either enable or disable the type of flight mode that you want. For example, we will say that in my flight mode one, I don't want anything. In my flight mode two, I want to do envelope. That is, it will limit me to these angles. And on flight mode three, I want to do self-leveling. And we apply the settings. So now uh, there is a lot of other options in here. So some of the important ones that is important in here is this relearn servo settings. So imagine that um, after testing, your um, reaction on the ailerons is incorrect. So moving the stick, it works on the right directions, but uh, on the safe mode, if you move the plane, the gyro is reacting in the incorrect mode. So what we will do 
is we'll go to the initial part on the model setup and we go to the ginor channel reverse. So imagine that my aileron is wrong. So I have to reverse my ailerons. And we go to the next channel six also. So now these changes are only done in the transmitter. So we save the changes. Now we need to transfer those changes to the receiver. So to do that, we go gyro settings, system setup, relay mother settings. So now the transmitter actually send that uh, reverse information as well as uh, the range of movement, for example, minus 100 plus 100 of the servos, and we say apply. Complete. So now my servos, my gyro should move in the right direction. So every time that I change or I want to change the direction of the reaction of the gyro, I have to do a relearn servo settings. Also, if I change, for example, that instead of being a movement in my model, like here in the outputs, if instead of being, for example, I want to extend it a little bit more than 100% in here, also that is information that is transferred to the uh, receiver. So you have to do the relearn servo settings in, in those cases. So let's go back to the defaults. And let's go back to forward programming. So what other options do I have here? For example, in the flight mode setup, For example, in my flight mode one, I have a stabilization, but I don't have safe or the panic button. So imagine that we want to, to do the, the panic. So for that one, in system setup, there is a panic setup. So let's set up the panic channel on my switch here, the H. So now, uh, when I activate this, it will go into panic mode. So I want it to go to my safe mode, that is flight mode 3. And um, everything else looks, looks fine. And in fail safe, I also <laughs> want it to go to flight mode 3. So now let's go back. And let's continue here. So in my flight mode one, let's inhibit the panic. So if I'm in this flight mode and I press this one, it will go into panic mode. Let's go to also mode two, panic, and mode three, panic. So this is just a basic settings of how to use the, the, the script. Also, for example, if you want to copy a flight mode, you can say what flight modes are enabled. You can copy, for example, flight mode one to flight mode um, three. If you want to do it, but um, I set up already my flight mode three independently. So we're not going to cover kind of what is all the, the features for that one. There is plenty of videos from um, Spectrum of how to do it. Mostly just wanted to cover the very basic of the of the script and why it's important 
that you set up your your model uh, before. The thing is, um, HTX don't have um, these these models, and uh, for example, when you do the the, the two. The two independent ailerons, the gyro needs to know that you have two ailerons. Otherwise, the gyro will just control one ailerons. That's kind of the main reason that um, you need to set up this, and this information is passed to the receiver. Um, HTX and OpenTX, they don't have the um, these, these settings stored anywhere, since it's very flexible, but also it's not as integrated as we want with the uh, Spectrum. So that covered the, the script and I hope that um, you guys can use it and it helps um, many of you that are using um, OpenTX and HTX with um, Spectrum receivers. Thank you.